Hey guys, what's going on? Tua Cruz here, checking in with... Tungdays! We're here with Tuan Chan, and today we're checking in at... Doko ni imasu ka? Kurashiki. Kurashiki. Yeah, Okayama. Okayama. So we're in Kurashiki City, here in Okayama Prefecture. And we came here by Suzuki-chan. We put our bikes inside. We're doing a little bit of a road trip, a cycling trip. So you can check out our full playlist. We're doing a bunch of awesome rides in the area. But today we're riding over to the Kurashiki historical city area. We got a lot of recommendations from you guys to go over there. Everyone told us, go check out Kurashiki. So that's what we're doing. Earlier this morning, we went and checked out an awesome Brazilian theme park with a sky cycling course. And that was awesome. But now we're gonna go check out the old quarter. So let's get on our bikes and let's go. And I'm not too familiar with these roads, but it doesn't seem too difficult. There's a lot of straight perpendicular grids here, which is great to see. And definitely getting a really old school vibe right here. Even though we're a little bit away from the historical district, it's still got a historical vibe over here. But it's a little bit strange. We went out for a walk last night. We arrived here last night and around this area, there's a whole bunch of different like clubs and bars and stuff. So it's kind of funny, it's got the old school kind of vibe, but also a lot of <laughs> clubs and bars and stuff. So I missed my turn. We were supposed to turn left back there. We're gonna loop back. But that's okay, nice Subaru. STI. Here we go. This is the, the original direction we were supposed to go. I plugged in the directions of my computer, so hopefully that should lead us directly to the historical district. Oh, nice purple building over there. Let's cross here. All right. But so far it's been a really nice, fresh breath of air. Just being able to ride in these new areas, completely new streets, and just, yeah, see different sides of Japan that we don't normally get to see. That's what we've been doing on this whole trip. Got a nice little park here. And what time is it? Let's check the, the clock. It is 5 p.m. And you can see it is quite, uh, quite dark right now. It gets dark here pretty early now. And that's one of the disadvantages of being here in Japan is it gets dark early, especially outside of summer. Um, in winter, it'll be dark by like three, <laughs> three, four p.m. Unfortunately. And lots of red, lots of stop signs on this side route. but we're gonna trust the, the Wahoo today to take us to where we need to go. Looks like we're turning here. Turn right. Okay. We also have seen a couple different like small old school karaoke places here. And when we got back to our hotel this afternoon, after we went to the amusement park, there was uh, some awesome old school um, karaoke action going on in the, the karaoke place right next to our hotel. Luckily, we didn't hear anything when we went inside our room, but we could hear it outside when we parked our car. Looks like we're going along the train tracks here. So we could have took the train to get all the way up there. We haven't taken the train at all on this trip. We've been going everywhere by car, which has been pretty good apart from just having to pay the parking fees. This is a nice road so far. Man, there's no cars out today. It's a Saturday. This is a Saturday night and this is the traffic here. This is pretty awesome. I'm really liking Okayama Prefecture so far. It's one of my favorite places that I've been in this trip. We've been over in Hiroshima for a lot of the rides. But Okayama Prefecture, like even though Hiroshima has the awesome cycling, the Shimanami Kaido route, like we did all that, but 
like the main roads here in Okayama are just really nice and the old school vibe it's just yeah I really like it cleaning the trees got another a little bit bigger of a park over here I got some basketball hoops And yeah, they have some teeter-totters in the parks. There was a teeter-totter in the park right next to our hotel. Tung and I were playing on that <laughs> last night after dinner. Just, we ate a little bit too much. We went to a kind of Chinese style restaurant nearby. It was the highest reviewed place and it was awesome. Huge portions. I've been ordering like the big, I'm used to ordering the biggest size whenever I can here. You can get like o mori, which means big size or dai, which means big size. And two times now, I haven't been able to eat the full portion. I don't know if I'm getting weaker <laughs> with not being able to eat as much volume or if just like the sizes here are just ridiculously larger than other areas. Whoa. Nice car-ish, kind of. <laughs> Looks like it's in rough shape, but also looks like it has a lot of character. This is a nice ride so far though, riding along the train tracks. No trains have come yet though. But some things never change. We got a gasto over there. Tung Chan used to work at a gasto. So Tung is a gasto expert. Gasto no Tatsujin. Yeah. Gasto no susume no menu no item wa. <laughs> she used to be a cook over at Gasto, but she told me most everything is microwaved. Hamburger. <laughs> Nice open fields right here. And it's always nice to see the space underneath the train tracks being used for some purpose, whether it be parking or parks or whatever. It's always nice to see that being used. And I don't think we're too far away from the historical Kurashiki area. And it looks like it's really nice in the evening. So that's one of the other reasons we're going right now. We should get some nice sunset views while we're there. And we'll take a nice night ride back home in the cool weather. We've been loving this cooler weather. Everything is finally starting to cool down here in Japan. It's been a really nice change in temperature. And, but yeah, I think we're about eight kilometers in total away from our hotel. So it should be a nice short ride over. Shouldn't be too long. Should pay attention to my my computer. It's not signaling me when a turn's coming up. So we're gonna go right here, it looks like. This drugstore has been really popular over here in Western Japan too, Cosmos. I never really noticed it so much in Aichi where we live. Maybe I haven't been paying attention, but I'll have to keep an eye out when we go back. I've been seeing it everywhere on this trip. Yeah, lots of little gardens along here. The other thing, the hotel we're staying at tonight it was our first hotel on this trip. We've been traveling for over a week now. 
and it was the first hotel on this trip that had free parking. So that's something new to me. Whenever I stayed at a hotel in the US, it's like everywhere's free parking. So that's kind of like a given. But here in Japan, most parking spaces are not free. You have to pay for it, um, especially in the city areas. And we're kind of outside the main city area here. So I guess that's why we get the free parking. So if you're outside of a, a really, really busy area here in a more open free space area, you might get some free parking. It was our first time today though. But in this historic district area, the parking's quite expensive. So that's another reason. Tung wanted to drive over there. But I was like, no, let's go by bikes. It'll be more fun. We'll get to see more things along the way. And we'll get to burn more calories so we can eat more food. Oh, there was some chlorine smell. There must have been a pool or onsen right there. Yeah, some of the roads over, especially in Hiroshima city, there were a lot of big trucks on the roads that we noticed. But here, uh, no big trucks so far. Turning right here. And we're crossing the train tracks. Technically, you should slow down and sort of stop for these, but we're going to do a yield stop. Should be good enough. And we're not too far away from Okayama City, which is actually one of our favorite stops as well. We stayed there uh, one night before leaving to continue on. Oh. You gotta be careful because some like regular cyclists or <laughs> like school people, school kids will be riding on the wrong side of the road like that, which can be really dangerous if you've got cars coming behind you because then you gotta get over so you don't crash into them. Well, here we are, we're, we're on the busy road now, the busy narrow road. Everyone's turning down there. Must be something over that way. That's all the guards for now. We should get a nice little break with the light waves. Sometimes if it's a narrow road like that and there's a lot of cars waiting at the light, it's sometimes better to wait, let all the cars go. And then after they go and the light changes, you can continue on then. Then you don't have to worry about too many cars behind you. But yeah, one of the bad things about riding in the countryside in Japan is the, the main roads in the countryside is usually just single lane and everyone's trying to use that road so even with a smaller population, that road can get really congested and backed up, especially with lots of traffic lights and it can be really narrow. So you'd think like riding in the countryside would be more peaceful, but it's not always the case unless you're like way deep in the countryside. Not too many convenience over here too. They're definitely a bit more spread out than what I'm used to. But yeah, a lot of people we talked to before we did this trip on our Patreon page, we got a couple of comments, people saying, go to Kurashiki, check it out, it's awesome. Uh, my local bike shop in Nagoya, Japan, the guy who runs it told me, go check out Kurashiki, it's awesome. So everyone told us to come here. And I'm not sure why, I think it's, because it's got that like old school historical kind of vibe, especially in the historical town that we're going to today. So you can sort of just feel like you're in the old Japan and explore around there. And it's supposed to be a pretty big area that you can explore. And I think there's like a lot of onsens over here too or something, but I'm definitely not gonna lie. Okayama, I, I knew nothing about it before coming here. And it's already like one of my favorite places that I've visited so far the city and then just the surrounding area. It's a really good city. It's a nice size city, not too big, not too small. I missed the, I missed the road we were supposed to turn on, but that's okay. We're gonna intersect up with it right up here.
But yeah, nice mid-sized city, a nice countryside around with some good mountains and some good cycling. But we got a big road here now. So yeah, we're not too far away from Okayama city itself, which is a really nice big city. Let's cross here. Yeah, it looks like they got a nice wide lane here along the main road, so you can cycle along here pretty fast. This is pretty similar to the area where we live. We live off of a main road like this. Good to go. And let's get back on the main course that we need to go. We need to turn left here. Oh yeah, this looks like a busy, congested single file road. This is one of the reasons I hate driving here in Japan. All the roads are single file and it's traffic light backed up by traffic light. So you don't make too much progress. But here actually we're turning right. So let's cross here and let's wait to cross. And we're back on course. I'm not sure why the Wahoo's not making any sounds today. Maybe I gotta double check the settings, make sure the sound alerts are on. We'll do that later. Be careful here. This is a cool road. Check out this giant gap though. You do not want to fall down there. And it's telling us to go straight. Oh, okay. The road curves a little bit. There we go. I see one of the buildings off in the distance. I think that's one of the main attractions in the historical area. Really excited to see all the buildings up there and just see the vibe. It's always fun when we go to some of these more historic areas. And this is a really, really famous one. So for Japanese tourists and for foreign tourists. Always yield in those situations. You never know what the cars are gonna do. left turn right here <laughs> uh, okay maybe yeah it's not right there it's this road let's so say that'll take us right inside that company and yep nice change to smooth pavement right here let's check the route Yeah, I don't think we got too much more to go. Another family mart here. We got some pizza delivery bikes. We almost got pizza last night, but there was a place nearby our hotel. It's still crazy expensive. It's like, yeah, over $30 for a large, a Japanese large, which is like a US medium. And that's just for basic toppings. So we decided to pass up on that. We went to the Chinese place instead. Solid choice never go wrong with Chinese food. Well, I guess you can, <laughs> depending on the place, but uh, for the most part, Chinese food in Japan is pretty legit. It doesn't change too much, and you know what you're getting, and the price is usually really cheap, and the portions were great. We got way more than I was expecting. Oh, it's getting narrow here. Still straight, straight shot. 
follow the tiny truck and don't run into the pedestrian. I think it wanted me to go right there. That's okay. This goes the same way. Yeah, I love these little narrow roads here. Even though you can't go too fast on them because you never know if someone's just gonna come out of some corner. But they're really fun to explore and just see what you come across. Back on course. Left here. Yep, this is driving in Japan in a nutshell. You're never gonna go too far. That's why I'm glad we came by bikes instead today. We're actually going that direction. And here we go. I'm glad I came on a bicycle. Cause I can do this. Oh man, so these bricks are not great for riding. Let's get off of here. So yeah, these, these cars are going nowhere. Red light to red light. Yeah, I'm really glad we came here by bike today. And we should be approaching the main area right now. I'm seeing a lot more people out walking. It looks like we arrived. So I pointed the directions a little bit further up, but this is definitely the area where we wanted to go. We got to get off our bikes here though, because I don't think you can ride here. But let's check it out. We'll do a quick little intro right now for this video, but I think we're going to film a separate video showing this whole area. So you can check that out as well. But for now, let's do a quick look. Here we go. We got the scenic river spot here. And I guess they have some boat tours. And this is just gonna be really nice at night when they get it lit up with some of these lanterns. And we got this cute little bridge here. Very nice. Pretty excited to check out this area. Get some nice snacks. Yeah, we're gonna continue on and walk in here a little bit. I think we need to find a place to park our bikes first though. So let's finish up this video here. So this video is already 30 minutes long. We're gonna finish it up here. We're gonna continue on and just walk around this area and film a separate video. So if you wanna see the rest of our time here in Kurashiki, be sure to subscribe and check out our next video coming out soon. And as always, thanks for watching, especially a big thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon, everyone who recommended for us to come here. And yeah, thanks again, everyone. We'll see you next time here on Two Wheel Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.